Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. Today's video is going to be what I've burned and melted recently. Yeah, we're back at it with the burn and melting. So let's get into it. I just didn't realize until right now how bright my under eyes were. Okay, we're going for a bright moment today. Get it, girl. The bags are real, so you had to brighten it up. <laughs> okay, so we're also, I'll tell you what's on my lips. I have the um, Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade Peachy. First time wearing it. I think it's pretty good. And then on my eyes, I have the Morphe 35O palette. I like this palette a lot. It's pretty. I haven't reached for it in a very long time, but I do, I do like that one. Okay, on to what I burned. We'll start off with our big, big mama here. Homeworks Cinnamon French Toast. Set notes are toasted brioche, grated cinnamon, nutmeg, sprinkled powdered sugar. Pretty, pretty hobnail jar, but it has that shaky lid that we all know that I despise. <laughs> really beautiful colored wax. This has been burning absolutely beautifully. It's so, so strong, like so strong. I think this is the last, mm, this is definitely the last hobnail I have of this. I think I have one more set, um, one more of this scent in the plaid jars that that the breakfast from the pre breakfast trio. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. So yeah, I have one more of the cinnamon French toast, but this is this is really nice. It is a little heavy on the spices, but it's really kind of not bad. I've grown to like it more than when I first received it. And now, like I said, it is really really strong. I have that burning in the bedroom, and it wafts all the way out into here into this big living and dining room. So. It's a winner. She's burning great. She's doing well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like her a lot. Yeah. We will have ooh, cinnamon French toast, even if there are a bunch of scents that smell very similar to that. I will say that it's a bit different than hot cider donut and a bit different than sugared beignets, but like kind of all in the same realm. Also in the bedroom, I've been burning Goose Creek's waffles and ice cream. I only burned it once, but like, look at how crazy yellow this has turned. This used to be like this cream colored and I haven't even had it that long. It has just turned yellow. This actually came to me yellow. I believe I hauled it and you can see that it was pretty yellow. But anyway, waffles and ice cream on cold. I think this is such a lovely, lovely scent, but when you light it up, Goose Creek, she comes for you. She comes from my nostrils and it just does not smell the same. I, I just, I don't, I've come to realize that I don't really like Goose Creek candles. Ah, I wish I did because on cold, their scents are so good. When you light them up, they just change. The fragrances change to become stuff that I don't really like. A lot of the times they either smell very, very burnt or they smell almost like this... <sighs> I can't describe it, but I I know what it smells like and I know that I don't like it. I just can't quite describe it. This one turns very, like very, very buttery, but almost to the point where like you're burning that butter. Like say you were gonna brown butter for cookies, but you, you take it a little too far and you kind of burn it. That's That's what this takes on. So on cold, I think it's a beautiful ice cream, kind of waffly scent, but lit. Mm, I, I really just, I can't vibe with it. It has these thick wicks that love to soot as well. So I'm going to, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to trudge on, but I just, m most of Goose Creek stuff, I don't vibe with. I, and I wish I did because I really like it on cold. I really, really do. But for some reason, these, like it happened with their pumpkin cupcake. It happened with like every single one of the Halloween candles that I bought last year, except for candy corn. Um... It's just, it's happened so many times with Goose Creek that I just, especially these three wicks, really these three wicks, they change a lot when lit a lot in my personal opinion. So yeah, this one would not be a repurchase and I have another one in my collection because I liked it so much on gold. I think I've learned my lesson. I think I've officially learned it to just stay away from the Goose Creek, stay away. But speaking of Goose Creek, I do I'm, uh, I do have one more. I'm still burning Forbidden Elixir here. As you can see, it's, it's getting sweaty. It's starting to set. The wicks, you can see, are big. I trim them down to little teeny tiny nubs every single time. 
And then for like the first maybe five to 10 minutes of it being lit, it just is like the flames are huge. Then they chill out and I keep it burning and it's fine. But that's where this, this soot is coming from. You can see how, how, get, how dark it's getting. Um, just from those like first five, 10 minutes of having it lit, the flames are insane. Even after trimming these down to nubs, like insanely large. So that is the experience that I've continuously had with the Goose Creek large jars. They've discontinued these, which I know people are upset about, but I think it's for the best because these babies just soot and soot and soot. Um, the fragrance is still okay. It's gotten a lot lighter. It was more strong or stronger at the beginning. Now it's kind of faded to be a little bit softer of a scent. You can see the wax has changed color. So we're just, again, we're going to finish it out. I don't know. The bottom seems super oily. So I would thought like you would think as you go down, it would get stronger, but we'll see. So continuing that. And then I have two autumns. I love autumn. Oh, it's literally fall in a jar. It's fall in a jar <laughs> from Bath and Body Works. This is bright red gala apple or gala apple, whatever. Juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. And you would, I, I've loved this scent for years, even though each individual scent note is not my most favorite. For some reason, you combine these and it is so gorgeous. It literally smells like fall. It reminds me of open windows, crispy leaves, a bit of a breeze, football Sundays. Like this, this is just, it's fall. I cannot go a fall season without autumn. I think the packaging is really pretty on this one too. I love the blue. I like the leaves. It's just pretty. So yeah, this one, I've only had it lit once, but you can see that they've got some big old wicks. I'll trim up and on that first bird, it filled the living and dining room. And this one's really strong. I could probably get away with one of these, but I like to be assaulted by my fragrance. So two it is. Yeah, love those. Love, love, love. Okay, and then two things that I have burning that I just didn't bring with me. I'm still burning Yankee Candles Red Velvet in the large jar. And then a finishing up today, a pumpkin apple single wick in the bathroom. So that's good. And then onto what I melted. I did Berrylicious Cream Cheese Frosting Funnel Cake from L3 and a scoopable. This was really nice. I just, I loved the, the swap from like burning some more gourmands and everything and then swapping over to this berry. Oh, it was beautiful. I did this in the bedroom. Mm -mm -mm, delicious. This is the Yankee Candle dupe or type of Berrylicious, which is a great scent. And the funnel cake's not spicy. It's got a little creaminess from the che cream cheese frosting. Gorgeous, loved it. It wasn't as strong as some of my other scoops, but this is from 2020, so I have to give it some grace. But it was still good, still strong. Scoopables always are strong. They just, they really are. And then I did Season of the Witch, which is apples and leaves. This is such a good set from L3. As you can see, I have loved this one. So, so good. It literally smells like leaves from Bath and Body Works mixed with like a little bit of extra apple. So good, delish, love, incredibly strong, just fall. So that was good. And then I did some Rose Girls. I did Strawberry Slurp, which is Strawberry Jam, Cereal Killer, Sugar Milk, and Rice Krispie Treats. This is not my most favorite. I think it's that sugar milk note in here. Just a bit strange, a bit odd. I don't know. Or maybe it's, the I think it's the strawberry mixed with the sugar milk. It's just not my most favorite. Oof, that kind of gives me a headache. Uh, yeah, not my most favorite. So we're just going to finish that up and call it a day. Then I did Circus Concession, which is Macintosh Madness, Ooey Gooey Caramel, and Cotton Candy Frosting and Funnel Cake. This is my first time melting this, even though I have two bags of this because I loved it so much on cold. Um, I did it in my tea light warmer in my kitchen, and I think that that was a mistake because... I really liked the scent, but the longer that it went in the tea light warmer, I think just because it's like the tea lights are so hot, you know, that it kind of burned off all of the other good smelling stuff. And I was left mostly with caramel. So strong though, like holy Toledo, this was strong. Um, next time I'm just not gonna do it in the tea light. So my mistake, or, you know, just my preference, I would say not even a mistake, just a preference that I, I would like it in a warmer that is a, maybe a little bit, um, not as high of a fragrance of like a wattage, even though it's a tea light. You got what I'm saying. It wouldn't burn as hot. 
because it's good. I really like that that apple note in here really breaks up that ooey gooey caramel and that's an incredibly important because caramel's not my most favorite. So when that apple disappeared, I was like, ooh, it's kind of caramely. I don't know about this. And it was so strong. I had that in the kitchen. And when I tell you, you could smell that when you walked in the front door, you could smell it when you walked in the front door. It was, it was incredibly strong. So yeah, great performer. Just going to do it in a different warmer next time. And then finally, I have Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie from Hayden Rowe. I actually have this in my warmer right now, and it is doing so well, so well. This is just like a perfect Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie scent. Straightforward, that's it, nothing else. Delicious and very, very strong. So this has been delish. Absolutely love it. I can smell it in the air. Don't you just love that? You love that when you can just waft or walk into a room and it smells so good. Ah, home fragrance is amazing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I love blackberry jam butter cookie. And it has been a while since I've melted anything with that. Ah, oh, how I've missed you. <laughs> so awesome, awesome would repurchase. And that's it. That's all I burned and melted for the last week or so. I think it's about a week, week and a half. I don't know. But let me know down below what you guys have been burning and melting. What's been your favorite thing this week? Let a girl know. I would love to chat with you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!